All right, bro. Somebody, somebody asked me why I deleted my channel on College Kid. Um, obviously, they're uninformed on the College King and the College Knight channel, in which I've spoken about it. Not College King, but just College Knight. So, just for future references, this video is out there. But for now, I'm going to just say it like this, man. I hate being viewed as entertainment, especially coming from a melanated being, you feel me? Out of all the things that I talk about, out of all of the things that I decipher, all of the things that I expose with these black celebrities, you know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to be viewed as entertainment, bro. Especially to a point to where I'm constantly exposing who? I mean, I expose every fucking body, but I hate to expose black people, especially knowing what um situation we're in in this country, you feel me? If I really wanted to dwell into the, the topics of what's really going on out here in these streets, the, the shit that's really going on, bro. Like, it's a lot of shit I ain't said on here, bro. Niggas want to hear a story, bro. Let, let's let's go, man. Niggas want to hear a raw story about what's really going on. 2017, the year almost over with. I just dated it by saying that shit, but, you know. So, it was this girl I was dating at the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? She was from Memphis. And she had a little sister. Ah, man, this story's so raw, bro. This story fucked up, man. It, it's fucked up, bro. So the girl I was talking to, she was molested when she was younger. And her mom's still dating a nigga, you feel me? I told her don't bring, like, I told her mama don't bring that nigga around here. You feel me? And the girl I was talking to had a little sister. Who was raped, not molested, raped, you feel me? And her situation was her and her sister went to a Halloween party. And some niggas, some, I ain't finna say what hood they from, but it ain't, I, ain't, I ain't finna do that, man. Myth is a motherfucker. So, they, they, these niggas is, niggas is weirdos, bro. Niggas is straight up weirdos, bro. They, they, it's fucking crazy. I should delete this shit by just talking about this shit, but it happened when the little sister was like 11 years old. I'm gonna just leave it like that, and she's like 14, 15 now, and she was secretly pregnant the whole time. I met her, you feel me? I met her because I'm talking to her big sister, you feel me? Her sister, 20, and. I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? you? Like, she was fucking with everybody and grown niggas, you feel me? Um, that's when I read these niggas is really like predators out here, you feel me? That wasn't my, really my first time seeing that shit. Honestly, I seen that shit in L.A. But not to the extent of of seeing, like, being around the girl, you feel me? Like, I seen it from a, a far view, like, damn, she out here hoeing. But to actually be around and see... Like, three niggas a day type shit. What the fuck? You feel me? And she had a baby. 14 years old. And she got suspended from um, school. Got caught giving a blowjob in the bathroom. You feel me? So she had a baby. And we like, who the baby daddy? She said, I don't know. I don't know. Got exposed on Facebook. Niggas ran a train on her. You feel me? Bunch of 15 year olds. Got exposed on Facebook. Her daddy whooped her ass. But... That shit don't do nothing. You feel me? He out of the picture too. He a fucking drunk. He was gone for uh, out of her life for ten years. He got arrested for some some I don't even know some uh, attempted murder type shit. You feel me? So she end up finding she know who the baby daddy is the whole time, but we didn't find out till later, like a couple months later. So she leaving school and shit, and then. It's the security guard. She said, that's her baby daddy. The nigga that works security at the fucking high school, bro. I was like, this shit is too much, bro. I couldn't believe this shit, bro. I couldn't believe this shit. I couldn't believe I was witnessing and hearing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is what's going on out here in Memphis right now. This type of shit. And nigga ain't arrested. Nigga ain't nothing. You feel me? Everybody know, apparently. And she ain't even the worst of the worst in the school. There's worse females than that. At her high school. I'm like, what the fuck? 
You know what I'm saying? I can't make videos like I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's fucking wicked. That's what's really going on out here. You feel me? And a bunch of other shit, bro. Bunch of other shit. But you know, this is what people are sugarcoating. Like out here in Memphis right now, niggas making a big hoobla over this fucking Confederate statue. They want it removed. These um Black Lives Matter page or Soros trolls. They want the statue removed. The Confederate leader or General Robert Lee. Robert Lee Jr., I believe. I forgot, but his name Robert Lee. So my standpoint on that is that they should leave it up. For the simple fact that that's history. Let them see what they were in the past. Let them glorify a racist. Let them glorify it. So you can show your kids that this shit actually exists. Instead of trying to hide this shit, bro. Why are you trying to hide the truth of the world? Of the past? Of the history, bro? Why y'all trying to sugarcoat it like it was just all good? What the fuck are y'all doing? So if y'all want this statue down... That means y'all want Abraham Lincoln down. That means y'all want George Washington down. Every fucking body. Y'all want all these statues down. Apparently, by y'all logic. You feel me? All of these motherfuckers had ties to things that were not good for black people. And are celebrated. It's just retarded, you feel me? But that's what they put in their issues. That's what on the news every fucking day. Out here. Fucking statue, bro. I don't give a fuck about that statue, nigga. But for some reason, these paid George Soros, white Jew trolls, Black Lives Matter, um, Memphis chapter, they care so much about this shit. It makes no fucking sense to me when you got kids out here that's getting pregnant and raped and molested and shit. And ain't nobody doing shit about it. Nigga, in, in the girl, my ex-girlfriend neighborhood in Binghampton. Nigga, it's white. It's, it's 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 old pedophiles and shit. Ain't supposed to be in the school district. Like I, I guess it's like five miles. I don't fucking know. But they supposed to be a certain distance away from the schools. Them motherfuckers still there. Police not enforcing it. These disorganized gangs down here ain't doing shit. They actually the ones got members that's doing this shit. You feel me? So. It's just fucking crazy, bro. It's wild, man. Niggas want to know why I say Earth is hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tried to tell the girl, like, my ex little sister, like, that shit ain't cool. She caught diseases and all. When she had the baby, they found out she had some type of disease. I forgot what the fuck it is. But they said the baby might not be might not be affected. They was thanking God over that. You feel me? It's fucking crazy, bro. I forgot. Is it gonorrhea? I don't fucking know, man. But yeah, that's, that's just how they getting down out here, man. But that's what they want to focus their energy on. I remember I, I came out here in Corner. It's, uh, if you from Memphis, you know, bro. The apartment's called Corner Village in Fraser. Out that way. And them motherfuckers out there was gutter as fuck. Really, it's a bunch of fucking apartment complexes in Memphis that... Just, just fucking run down, bro. Just gut up, bro. This shit is normal, man. This shit been going on for decades, actually. Shit been going on for decades. They call they, they, they take pride in that, making easy money, pimping holes in style. You feel me? They, they pride themselves off that shit. So it is what it is. But to me, shit is sickening, man. Shit is sickening. A lot of fucked up shit that go on out here. You know what I'm saying? These parents that be allowing the shit, bro. But that's just one of the reasons. Nah, it ain't really a reason why I stopped making videos or deleted all of my videos. Let me let me explain that. Because I deleted all of my videos because I told you niggas in advance, bro. I told you niggas in advance that the channel will be deleted, bro. I seen for a simple fact that. Nigga, they was hitting me for copyright strikes while I couldn't upload. Two week disabled from uploading. The first week, the motherfuckers hit me with a copyright strike for the anime and transhumanism video. The CERN and Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho video. I said, you know what, bro? I see what they doing. They trying to have my whole fucking channel taken down while this disabled shit going on. So they can just delete the whole fucking thing. So I said, you know, I got something better for y'all, bro. 
I got something better for you. Just delete all the fucking videos so you can't even disable. Like, on my College Night channel, I don't even have subscriptions. You feel me? I'm, I'm only subscribed to, like, one or two things. I didn't feel like going through all the subscriptions that I copied from College Kid to College King. Then to do it from College King to College Night, I'm not going through all that, bro. All of these things are in a combination of why I deleted all of the videos. You feel me? Because it's a strategic way to take me down. See, I peak game. That's the difference between a lot of motherfuckers out here. Niggas will sit around and let the channel stay and get the whole fucking channel deleted. They could take down the videos and just have my whole fucking channel deleted, then block my fucking IP. You feel me? So, I'm just, I just moved one step ahead of the game. That's all I did, bro. Like, I'll never stop being targeted on YouTube because... When I talk about entertainment, that's when I bring you motherfuckers in. Then that's when I drop some truth. Then when that truth becomes revealed in the future, that's when you niggas start to realize this shit is not a fucking game. You feel me? That's when you niggas eyes start realize eyes start waking up and shit, like opening up to what's really going on out here. And you be like, oh, oh, at first I thought you were I came off of a DJ Agvit. Fuck, like nigga, you late. You late. Nigga, I got videos with 90, I had videos with 90,000 views of me talking. I had videos with me talking about things 70,000, 20, 50, 60. Niggas know in my channel, bro. They seen the shit play out. They seen the shit play out. Y'all still didn't subscribe, so that's on y'all, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit scare a lot of people. It's just I'm not scared of this shit. It's a lot of other things going on too, bro. Just not gonna mention them on here. See, if if something happens, and I immediately jump on here trying to tell y'all, I sound like I'm spooked, right? I'm not spooked. You feel me? I told y'all the time in which something happened with my IP or something happened with my account. Did I did I show that? No, I didn't show that. Cause it was gonna be the IP information, and that's illegal. His IP address or his or her. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't on that shit. It's a lot of little shit I be seeing it, that I have seen. That I've never seen before. But I won't speak on it on here. I'm just smarter than that, bro. Just smarter than that. You know, life is a, it's, it's, it's a strategy. What is life without a strategy, bro? Being gullible. Giving your money away to dumbass shit. Donating to fraudulent people and scams. Um, corruption and all type of shit. Ending up in abusive relationships because you put on your cognitive dissonance glasses. Ending up with a hoe as your girl because you put on your cognitive dissonance glasses. And didn't see the signs in front of you. Ignored what she said and the mannerisms and her reactions towards certain things. You feel me? I ain't going for it, man. I'm turning all the way up, man. My brain on full power right now. Not really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not really, but... I'm as aware as I try to be. You feel me? I try to sharpen my awareness every day. Every fucking day, bro. Niggas be coming at me trying to get me to talk about little foolish shit like entertainment shit. Y'all want me to talk about Lil Pump Designer song and shit, bro. I don't care for that shit, my nigga. Like... What what like what what do you want me to say? That Zaytoven is reusing the same beat for the same ten fucking years? Why is that possible? Oh, because the audience is fucking retarded. That fucking designer song sounds like just like I'm the man. And then Lil Pump is using whose flow? Whose flow? I ain't even gonna do it, bro. Cause that's the flow the beat is on. But hey, let shit keep repeating itself, man. Let shit keep repeating itself. Because at the end of it all, ah, at the end of it all, if you're not able to capitalize off of, you know, this, this, this gift, you know, I, I can't be the only one with this gift. I'm probably one of the only ones that's out here constantly trying to, you know, um, prove it or just keep. Keep it going, bro. Like, I'm going to talk about it, man, since I'm here. Do you see DJ Academics, bro? Y'all seen him. 
I told y'all why I stopped doing videos on them. I told y'all this shit years ago. Not years ago. <laughs> I actually, I did on YouTube, on my comment section. But in the videos, bro, seven, eight months ago, I told you niggas, y'all niggas feel pity for him, bro. Like, the simple fact that anytime he has a problem, he doesn't respond. He's just sit there and cry like a female on stream. And his chat niggas would be the one defending him. You taking pity for a grown ass man that's 28 years old, bro. 28 fucking years old. Sitting up there crying. Nigga, Charlemagne gave him the game. Charlemagne straight up gave him the game, bro. It's no fucking excuses, man. None. So, niggas want to sit up here. Nigga, everyday struggle doing so fucking bad right now. I told you niggas this shit, bro. Told you niggas, man. Where's Axe Greatness now? Nigga, his show, that shit doing 30,000 a day now. With 9,000 dislikes and 300 likes. Are you fucking serious, bro? Niggas was all in my fucking comment section, bro. All you little lame-ass chat niggas. Joe make... Uh, Joe doesn't make the show. Ack is the show. Ack is why we're here. Fucking retarded, bro. Ack has a million subscribers. He's the reason why the show is popping. Well, if you look at his stats on his videos that he posts, he don't even get half of that, bro. He don't average half a million views per video. So what are you saying? Niggas is crazy, bro. Niggas is crazy. But just know, man. Niggas told you this shit. Niggas told y'all this shit. Niggas just didn't want to listen, bro. Like, for taking pity on another man, a grown-ass man, bro. What more do you want from me? Tyrese, you feel me? Grown-ass man. That's how you niggas is with DJ Act, bro. Y'all clown Tyrese. But if that was Act, y'all be on his side. Little lame ass goof ass niggas. Boy, I tell you, bro. I tell you, bro. I, I I don't know what to think anymore. I don't I don't know. I do actually. I'm just trying to figure out a way to capitalize off of it. You know? So many damn gullible people out here. People don't really know what's going on in the world, bro. There's so many things I could talk about in which y'all being lied to about. I mean, of course y'all know the Saturn shit and all of that. But I'm talking about like y'all food and shit and just the products you use every day. Your napkins. You know what I'm saying? Every fucking thing. Chemically imbalanced for real. I'm not saying that I'm supernatural and I um bathe in pond water in the sun and shit, bro. Like, I'm just saying <laughs> be aware of what's going on, man. If you want better for your kids for the future, then I feel like you should find some alternative. To actually make it better for them. So they will be aware of it. See. I don't plan on having kids man. But. If it just so happens that I do have a kid. I'd be around for it of course. And. You'd have to teach him. Or her. The knowledge of the world. Parents have kids and don't tell them shit bro. Hide knowledge from them in actuality. You'll find out shit at 24. I'm not 24. You'll find shit out at, like, older ages and shit. And you'll, and you'll be like, why the fuck you wait so long to tell me that? I, if I would have knew that at 13, I'd be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I salute real parents out here that teach their kids the game, man. That's why I, LeVar Balls and shit like that, you feel me? This shit is real, bro. Or shit, I don't even like them. You know what I'm saying? I I hate these motherfuckers. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't even finna say who I was gonna say. But they teach their kids a lot. You feel me? I'm talking about an elite class of people in which you can't talk down on. <laughs> Y'all know who I'm talking about. They teach their kids a lot. They put them in positions. They teach them the game of the world. You know what I'm saying? They have books on quote unquote witchcraft. Occult knowledge, Kabbalah. I just gave y'all that right there. So, for those that don't know, man, all that circle and the star inside and 
six-pointed pentagram is. It's just harnessing your body vibration, your frequency, and toning it. Now y'all know what the candles are with the darkness and the light. That signifies the overshadowing of darkness. Because you can create where? You can create in the darkness. If you meditate and close your eyes. You will see you will see a light. Third eye meditation. Pineal gland. You'll see. I don't know about everybody else. I'm speaking for me. And uh, only me. Because I can't be in anybody else's body. Meditating for them. You feel me? So what I see is like a white. Light blue flashing light. And you'll feel the electricity throughout your body. Anybody that knows about. You know what I'm saying. The chakras. And. Kundalini meditation you know of the Merkaba and you know of that like that feeling as if you floating as if you falling but floating at the same time like just your nervous system is rising that's what it feel like like it's leaving your body that's exactly what it feel like and you immediately fall asleep after that you'll think you gone for this happened like last night actually when I was meditating this happened last night you know, you feel as if your body is just gone. And then you, um, after you wake up, you being like in a crazy dream. It take like half a millisecond. It feel like a, a millisecond or something. And then you wake up and it be like, damn, that was a whole hour and 30 minutes. But I feel like I was only in one place and you can't remember none of it. That's just my dream. I mean, I had dream uh, breakthroughs where I... Remember things in great detail, but it just, it don't happen as much, you feel me? Maybe I need to connect with my higher self again, because it usually happens when I connect with my higher self, you feel me? And it's a lot of things I can give on here, bro. I just, I ain't going to do it, man. I ain't going to do it, because, matter of fact, I can't do it on here because y'all real ones, you feel me? Y'all real ones. The ones that's listening right now, y'all real. Because everybody else, the motherfucker, I got 7,000 subs on college kid. That motherfucker gone. I had 1,500 on college night. and No, I had 1,500. Not 1,500. 1,300 on college king. I had what, 900, 800 on college night. You feel me? And it's about 300 real motherfuckers that follow me. That's how I be. That's how I be. Out of 7,000 motherfuckers, you'll be lucky to have 300 people follow you. It's actually a high number. So, what my point is uh, of saying is, you ask your higher self to to make you aware of certain things subconsciously or consciously. You feel me? And just to, to make, that's the things I ask myself or tell my higher self to do. Because all it is is you. I imagine myself after death being already a God. Now for those that have the misconception of what a God is. Because the God of the Bible that you guys supposedly worship. And listen to all of his words. He's limited. He's not omnipotent. He's not omnipresent. When he was in the Garden of Eden. He asked Adam and Eve where are you? He went looking for them because he didn't know where they were. Facts. And it said gods. When they appeared. And also, Elohim means multiple gods. In Hebrew, it means multiple gods, not one. It's plural. So who wants to hold this L if you come in here with that bullshit? Talking about gods. A god is not what you think it is. It's already a creator, a universal person of this this whole system, bro. It's multiple, multiple. I, I've given the analogy, the example of... If you created a world right now, let's say you create a uh, I got them a computer program in which you create like a Sims game. Let's say you created the Sims game. You would be you and a, a lot of other programmers. When you create the game, you guys would be labeled as the gods to those Sims characters. You know that, right? You are their gods. So in the system they live in, they believe that life is a reality. They feel that this virtual reality is actually a reality. Because they do everything humans do. 
Isn't that what the Sims game is designed to be? So, who's to say that this world that you're living in right now doesn't have those same creators? You know what ether is and magnetism and vibrational pull and magnetic pull is. Those are all elements. Toposcope and anybody that knows what I'm talking about. They know what I'm hitting at, bro. They know what I'm hitting at. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anybody that wanted to know why I stopped doing videos is because motherfuckers view blacks as entertainment, and I don't like that shit. I really don't. Not no fucking jester on stage with no fucking, you know what I'm saying, Harlem Apollo shit. You feel me? Nah, I ain't liking that shit, bro. I want motherfuckers to respect our minds, and that's how I feel a lot of y'all should be. Don't let these folks straight up make you entertainment, bro. It's what TMZ is all about. It's what all this bullshit. It's what DJ Academics channel is about, my nigga. Black entertainment. Like, I just thought of the times in which that Tiger shit going on, that Soldier Boy shit, and every other day is some, like, cornball, goofy shit he reporting on. Not to say that he shouldn't, but I'm just saying that shit is corny, bro. Shit is not a good look. I'm not saying that we need to Try to be like anybody. We just need to uphold ourselves to certain standards in which we will um, have to fight back for our respect. You feel me? That's a fact. I don't like that shit. I swear I don't. Because you got motherfuckers from third world countries that think they better than you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers that's dirt poor. And, and see a black person and think that they better than you. And you might have way more than that. You worked harder than them and all that. So that's the type of representation that's out there, bro. That bullshit the media put out. Makes y'all look bad. Shit not cool. And it's a lot of other things within the community that need to be stopped. You feel me? But, you know, earth is hell. The shit won't change. I try my best to keep a good outlook on this shit, but... I ain't going to put on my cognitive dissonance glasses and act like it don't exist. You feel me? That's one thing I'm not going to do. Especially seeing what all I saw growing up and shit currently. You feel me? It's so much. It's a cold world, bro. It's hard to show love, honestly. It's hard to show love or take people serious. When all you see is people not taking life serious. I'm talking about people that supposedly have careers and all. Still don't take life serious. I think of all the time, like, of women that try to get over on their man by cheating on him. And he got, like, a $200,000 plus job and shit. You cheating on him with the local drug dealer and shit. You feel me? Or the local thug nigga. You feel me? Like, shit like that. Like, this nigga won't. Like, you testing him and he end up killing you or something. Like, bro, you play stupid games out here. You know what I'm saying? Or the nigga that run off with the work from the plug and he end up chopped up somewhere. Or found in a burning car. You know what I'm saying? Shit is not a game, bro. Everybody think life is a joke. If you don't accept death, I don't think you should be playing like that. I don't think you should be playing like that. But hey, it's the world we live in, man. I want y'all comments on this shit, bro. I, I did a lot of... I didn't even think this video would last this long, but... Just seeing how... A lot of things transpire. For me, it's a lot of things that... Be on my mind, you feel me? And I'm glad I got this off right now, because... I'm glad I got, I got these platforms in which I can speak on, you feel me? Because it's not that I do videos for y'all, honestly. <laughs> it's that I do videos for myself you feel me and if it happens to be for y'all really I guess I'm not doing it for myself because I feel like y'all should know this you know what I'm saying so I guess I'm not doing the videos for me but I am at the same time because it helps me as well because I can't just sit around and be like just sitting here and not seeing all that I see bro like right now it's clear as day that Rihanna sacrificed her brother or whoever that her little cousin you feel me it's clear as day 
It's for more accolades. It's just how it go. Anybody that knows how this shit goes, they know that's how it fucking goes. When Dr. Dre, right before he was finna get seven hundred million from um Dre's Beats headphones, his son dies in a car accident. Anybody notice that? That's just how it go, man. That's her repaying for what? For what? Cause guess where I just seen her, bro? On E, on E News, talking about what? Fenty. I wanted to make a hair. I wanted to make a makeup line for women of all colors. All women deserve to be beautiful. The, the sacrifice you have to pay is one of your family members. You want them jewels to be all up in your face supporting you for black women? She had to make that sacrifice. So, took a black life to a celebrity puppet for you black women to wear brown makeup. Even though there's other makeup lines for black women. Y'all happy? Y'all happy or not? I'm gone.